Where's the flu clutch? Nice, 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 nice. Nice. So, th this album came out, I want to say it's like 92, um, which is when this came out. It was certainly before the game that we're going to play came out. But that sound, <laughs> and we were like so ready for this album, so we had it cr Let me hear it. cranked. We'll play it again. Okay, so this is Depeche Mode. Songs of Faith, Love, and Devotion. So when you put the... <laughs> that's that's all, the first thing you hear when you put the CD in? all in the plate. <laughs> and my friend had an 86... Matter of fact, this, this ties in beautifully to what we're going to play today, because it was Stephen Kirkenbauer, my best friend growing up in high school. Okay. He had an 86 Toyota Celica, black with gray interior, that, the, like, that we'd had the tape insert so that we had the CD player. And so we like put that in and we had cranked, we're like ready, and we <laughs> hear that. <laughs> what did he do? He like jer jerks the wheel. Thought someone was about to hit like, him. Ah! <laughs> and yeah. then the rest of the song continues, and we're like, oh, and we were just blown. We were like, what a bold choice that was to like the first thing you hear since Violator is just yeah. noise. Noise like somebody about to ram oh, into you. Oh my god. It Try walking in my shoes. Oh, thank you for that story, Troy Baker. Nolan North, what's going to happen, everybody? It's Retro Replay. Yes. We're back. We're on the couch again. Um, it's still brown. But the reason why I bring that up is because Stephen Kirkenbauer, he was the reason why I played this game. He was the reason why I even got into what we're going to break this seal today. Look at this beautiful machine at your feet. Wait, I know. here's what's crazy. What? We're breaking the Nintendo 64. That's what I'm saying! Sherry! Look at this beautiful machine. You're, you've yeah. never seen this before. Very that cool. is the N64, and my friend, uh, his parents would like go out of town a lot. This is how stupid and, and nerds we were. We had this beautiful house all to ourselves in the middle of like sophomore, junior year of high school. And what did we do? And stayed inside. We and played, played this. video games. Everybody else would have been like, "You throw the party to end all parties." The girl without a mind ain't human. They gotta be more than just a butt that's booming. No, 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 no. We were playing this classic, Rogue Squadron, in the Star Wars universe. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, I'm a, you know, I'm a Star Wars geek. Yes, you Love are. It. And what I think is great is Mark Hamill. Mm -hmm. Mark Hamill, he's like, he's the poster child for this. I mean, you play as Luke Skywalker. He literally is the poster child. Yeah, he, I can't believe I know him. He's one of my little, like, kind of my little geeky things. It's like it. Totally. It, and he, it's just Mark. He's just, he's the greatest guy. And you know, he's, and it's like, I know, I know Mark Hamill. And the, I have Mark Hamill's number on my phone. We'll talk that kills to you me. more about, like, the kinks. Than oh, yeah. or Beatles or Stones trivia. He, he knows his, well, he and Tom he Kenny is. know their music history. Like, it's w ridiculous. One of my favorite quotes from Tom Kenny ever. We were at Tom Kenny, SpongeBob. For SpongeBob those SquarePants. John DiMaggio's birthday party, surprise birthday party. We're sitting oh, yeah, at, at the Sunset Marquee, like, historic. Um, Hollywood hotel that that has a studio in the middle of it, and like the Stones have recorded there, David Bowie recorded there. It's ridiculous. Aerosmith recorded there. It's crazy the people that have recorded there, and the, the amount of rock and roll history that's there. And so we're talking to Tom Kenny, and Coop had just come back from New York. He has a picture of himself at the place where the original CBGBs was, and Tom Kenny goes, "Oh yeah, CBs, man, that was great." And Coop kind of looks at me and goes like, oh, I used to play at CB's all the time. CB's, called it CB's. Like, he, Tom Kenny's punk band was the band that opened up for all of the big, like, Sex Pistols and everybody else that came through town. Yep. And so I looked at him and was like, I, I know you love playing, like, he, he does this great, like, 50s revival doo-wop with, he's got, like, singers and a horn section. It's great. And I was like, you ever think about going back and doing punk? And he goes, you know, cuz, it's just kind of hard playing punk when you've been in escrow. <laughs> and I think that's the greatest quote ever. You know, odd, odd, odd thing about that night? Yes. I got to his, I got to his party <laughs> early. No, because I, I came from a, a job. Good I got to, to that early. 
and uh, sitting there, Morrissey. There it is. And I just looked up at the, and, and people have said, hey, you kind of look like Morrissey, because I think it's something with the eyebrows. And I just kept looking up there, and, and he's just up there talking to someone, having a drink. And eating a steak, and, and it was weird. And I'm just going, <laughs> it's kind of like seeing your teacher, like, not in school. It's like, <laughs> you're not Morrissey. supposed to be a real person. It was crazy. So That's was, a really uh, small bar, too. Like, no, there's sitting four, there were next like to four him. four chairs. <laughs> you, you don't sit there and you go, my friend. Morrissey. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hey, I uh, really like your songs. I like your eyebrows. <laughs> we, we got something Couldn't in Couldn't name one of your songs, <laughs> for real, but you're beautiful poison. The more you ignore me, the closer I get. Hey, we want to take a second to thank our uh, sponsor take for today's episode, ExpressVPN. Uh, big supporters. I love ExpressVPN. Sorry, I'm in a singing mood. Yes. Well, we do love ExpressVPN. I use it daily. Do you? To ward off any would-be snoops and hackers. Well, you should because the internet is a filthy, vile place. Vile, vulgar, dirty place. <laughs> and without ExpressVPN, you're screwed, right? Bang! You know what the best part is? What's that? Watch this. Super easy. Go ahead and put this up on the screen, Drew, because I'm doing it on my phone. Bam! I push one button and I'm connected, and I can choose wherever I want my server to be worldwide. placed. Worldwide. Worldwide. So, like, if we're in the UK, let's say that I don't want people looking. There's a lot of sensitive material that we look at. We get scripts from people. Yeah. We do episode reviews <laughs> that we don't want anybody to see beforehand because exactly. that will end our careers. We can choose where our server is based. So anybody that wants to have eyes on us, <laughs> not so fast. Yeah. And. And you know what's cool is it's only seven dollars a month. It's got a thirty-day money-back guarantee. Yes. Uh, and that you take back your internet privacy with Today. for that. Yes, yes, you do. And uh, if you if you check out our description box here, uh, expressvpn.com/slash/retroreplay, you're going to get three months free by clicking on that. Okay, three months free with a one-year package. Expressvpn.com/slash/retroreplay. That's e x p r e s s v p n dot com/slash/retroreplay. Three months for a one-year package. I just said that. Visit expressvpn.com slash retro replay. Take back your privacy right Today. now. Take back your privacy with ExpressVPN. It also pays for Drew's soup. Yeah. Get soupy. Let's um, get into this. Let's get into this. this. And let's start it off with the plot. Fly against the evil empire. As Luke Skywalker, co-founder co -founder of the Rebel Alliance's elite rogue squadron, you must combat the co -co evil galactic empire. Engage in intense, fast-paced planetary, air-to-ground, and air-to-air -air missions. Ooh, there's a lot of hey, hyphens on this. This is our first this. flying game, isn't it? I don't think we've. This done... is our first flight sim. I don't think yeah. flight sim. Okay, we'll call it that. Yeah, flying game, flight sim. It's the flying. Game. Well, we did have the ones with the balloons. That's balloon simulator. Balloon fight. fight. Much better name. Balloon Go with yours. skirmish. Search and destroy. Reconnaissance. Okay. Bombing runs. Right. Rescue assignments. And more. Start. Pilot X wings. Y wings. A wings. V wings. Whatever wings you want. And uh, snow speeders with powerful weapons and over 15 missions battling Tie fighters. You know what Tie stands for? Uh huh? You know what Tie fighter stands for? Uh, time in. Time in. Time in the cockpit. T I E. T I E. Time in. Evelyn. I knew well, Evelyn. There was an Evelyn. No, Kids. No, 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 no. Don't, don't always wear a condom with Evelyn's. No, whenever I see I don't know why. Like this, that means bad stuff. Uh, twin ion engine. Oh, Mos Eisley. Oh, Take an early a... morning run over Mos Eisley with wedge Antilles, but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, we used to summer in the Antilles. There was a band called Mos Eisley. Hold on, that got me. There's a summer in the Antilles. <laughs> the lesser Antilles or the greater? <laughs> we go to the British Antilles. We'd not go the, to the British Not the French Antilles. or the Dutch side. Yeah, we'd go to the, um, the lower Antilles. Mos Eisley um, had to change their name because, <coughs> duh. And, uh, because Mos Def. They became the rapper. A lot of people don't know he's from Mos Eisley. Mos Def. Uh, and they changed their name to Isley, and um, they had a hit, and that was it. I 
Same am going to start this level. Available craft. Uh, I'm going. Go. I'm, I'm going Tide Fighter. Uh, you know, you're jumping into this. I love this. I, 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 I I'm want just, you to do this. I don't know how to do this, by the way. Now, mm. can you tell me? I don't. Uh, is it? Do I have? Is this? What is? Are we flying with this or this? Or? So you have an analog stick and a D-pad. Right. So how do I know? Which one do I? Um, brother, it's been a while. I want to say that. Okay. Here's my craft description. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Press this button for my craft description. Ooh. Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's fly, son. John Williams. Yes. Right. The Eighty-seven famous composer. year old. Famous composer. Yes. Just celebrated 87 years on this planet. Oh, Nerd. hold on. Yeah. Time out. They, oh, look at it. They did it like the movie. Of course they did. Should I, should I, that's it. Six months have passed since the Battle of Yavin. The Death Star has been destroyed, but the fight for freedom is far from over. So it picks up. <gasps> yeah, dude. This is so cool. Yeah, dude. The war against the Empire rages across the vastness of space. Luke Skywalker forms a legendary rogue squadron from the Rebel Alliance's most skilled X-Wing pilots. Not the voice I heard for this, but fell on. Their mission, colon, to defend the struggling Rebel Alliance against the still powerful and battle-hardened Imperial foe in a last-ditch effort to control the galaxy, dot, dot, dot. Otherwise known as ellipses. Mm. Ellipses I'm, I'm... was the code word in Casino Royale. Ellipses is my safe word during rough sex. No. Good morning, <laughs> 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 Always have a safe word, kids. <laughs> Always have a safe word. That's one so. from Noli. Don't want to get choked. Too much. John Williams um, has always done this. First of all, he was a student of Henry Mancini. His safe word is Mancini. Luke, no. I don't know. I've been with him. Oh. No! No! Um, Hold on, I'm toggling. Oh, I can go. toggle. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, your yaw, your roll, how do your I know? pitch. How do I? How do I? And then, of course, you have your bumpers. Oh, oh, hold on. So those are proton torpedo. John what, Williams. What do I shoot with? B. Hold on. Why am I going so far back? Why? That's changing your view. Your world view. Do, 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 do. do I shoot that? You just did what, what am I doing? <laughs> your little mini map you got the little red there you go there you go there you go buddy there you go buddy I need to pull up I need you're on to pull the deck up. you're on the deck you're on the deck you're on the deck all right I, I don't know what I'm doing I need help I don't know how to shoot I'm an idiot what do you shoot with I'm pressing every button and I don't see anything shooting I got it there we go um, all right Luke's settings L button is switch view how do I open up my weapons good. look oh there it is now I can shoot I bet there you go um, oh, the Z button on the coming back. In. Coming in. Why is it black? Why did it go to black? Oh, you might have died. You died. Mission failed. I don't understand. Right. Um, I destroyed six enemies there, probably by running into them and blowing up. This button will fire your secondary, which would be probably your proton torpedoes, and then the right is going to be the special. Proton or photon? It's proton. Photon is Star Trek. Oh, that's right. I was in Star Trek. Uh, Power coming online, sir. Retarget the Enterprise now. Did you blink? Did you fart real hard and have to close your eyes? You missed me. So John Williams, real quick, worry about this. Get this. He composes with a score sheet and a stopwatch. He goes, start movie, dick, and watches his stopwatch and goes, woodwinds. But he knows the entire movie, every second, every frame. So that he's doing it by a stopwatch. Really? I am. I shit you not. That I, that that seems like. Okay, brass, sit there and go click. That's Bam. Me. Was that Patrick Warburton? <laughs> <Or is that? laughs> hey. Bam. Bam. Hey, this Bam. is me. I Bam. also sound like the horn Nothing section. Hey, knock it off. Look at you. Remember Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live, Bill Murray did the lounge here. Star, Star Wars, Wars nothing, nothing but, but Star, Star Wars. Wars. If they should bar wars, let these Star Wars stay. Star Wars, <laughs> nothing but Star Wars. Don't ever I, feel like, hear I feel like we're going to fly over here and you'll see Nathan Drake. Abra uh, you see wanna... Nathan Drake and Uncharted 3 walking through. Did anybody get some water? Anybody get some water? I am most. Did Sully? Did Sully get the boat? I'll just head to the wreckage and see what I can find. Give me some water. Press A real quick. Hey. 
Just did. There's your thrust. Ooh. <laughs> God fast. knows we like thrust. I just don't know what I'm doing, but I like it. I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna keep doing it. Hi. Do I shoot those? Oh, Look I at your map, I... and you want to be shooting those guys. It's... All those guys? The little, yeah. the little ant Do you see things? the red, like the red blips? Nets. I, I do. I, I, on the, the red map. blips on your mini map. I know. I'm just. I'm a little lost. Red blips on your mini map. That's what you want to shoot. They are red blips on your mini map. Come oh, on, man. you know what to do. I don't see red blips anymore. Is that, am I, is that? Do you see up in the right hand corner where it says yeah. like the little, the little triangle? Yeah, of, so that's of, telling me which way to go, That's right? where you want to be. See? Are those fighters? Oh, there's a bad guy. Yeah. I'm gonna, hold on, I gotta swing back around and get that bad guy. Come on, you, which way am I going? Uh, I feel a little nauseous. These, this is making the prequels look awesome. Are you an angel? I was not, I'm not opposed to the prequels. Let's, let's get off. Whoa, the hold not. on. Sean the non-believer. Sean. We may, this is, this is when people start going, and <laughs> what no, else is I on just, YouTube? Cause, cause I'm a, I just want a, I just want a Star Wars stuff. Favorite Star Wars movie? Mm, I, I probably searched that again. Uh, they went to Hoth. I used to set up, uh, of my grandmother's living room with white blankets, and I had all the Star Wars toys, uh -huh. and I would, I would play Star Wars. Anyway. I well, had the, I, I had the took Luke. a bathroom break, where you could the, the. They all had it. The little retractable one. Yeah, they came you out. No, it's strange. Here. Mark Hamill, he actually has that on. Why are you shooting Mos Eisley's famous monuments? Can you imagine being a real estate agent on Mos Eisley? And uh, of course, your view will be um, set. Uh, I am you want to buy quick. Listen, I hear the neighborhood. You guys in here. It's supposed to be very Weren't nice. Weren't you the same real estate agent on Alderaan? Um, that neighborhood showed a lot of promise. Uh, <laughs> it showed a lot of promise? <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, it did. It did. Uh, the property values in Alderaan. <laughs> uh, you know what? Not it's a lie. great time to buy at Alderaan. Yeah. Um. That is it. That's it. <laughs> You're a real estate agent on Alderaan. <laughs> Have you thought about Alderaan? It's really good. Uh, isn't it no longer there? It is a expanding community. <laughs> uh, we come out of hyperspace with a meteor shower, some kind of asteroid collision. Oh my god, the level of nerdery in Martin's jokes is amazing. I like it though. Do I shoot the Jawas? You little <laughs> bastards! Why'd you do that, dude? What you, you My favorite of version bitches. of like the, the like the Jawas is uh, in Spaceballs. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of Spaceballs is when is when they like, we have men combing the desert. You men, have you found anything? No, sir. How about you men? No, sir. How about you men? What about you guys? We ain't found shit. Captain, incoming message. I've been acting for 35 years. 135 credits on IMDb. I was in a long running series. You might remember it. Star Trek. But all I'm known for is combing the desert and saying, we ain't found shit. I almost hit that. Luke, oh. You know what's great? This is finally getting the song that I've had in my head out because what I've had in my head like the entire day is like a night is shining on my from a long time ago. It's like a night is shining on from a long time ago. Chicago in there? That's Chicago, man. What just happened? You failed. Take me to my castle. I did not fail. So Mission completed. Ahead. They spelled completed wrong. <laughs> this is the Canadian version. Have you seen every one of them in the theater? Star Wars movies? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think every movie at least twice, even the prequels. Luke, I, think I had to go, ah, no, I saw the prequels once product. in the theater. No, it was an obsession with me. So I had all the figures, but like, I remember my grandmother helped me out. We'd go to a place called Child World. That was like Toys R Us back in the day. Child World. It's this is where the children will live. Like that. It's a the New England Child company. World. 
Come on down to Child World. Bring your children, because <laughs> it's for children. It's short for child. <laughs> Could not find Jawas. And I wasn't, you couldn't just have one Jawa. You couldn't have one sand person. You had to have a few with their little plastic capes. Sand you, people. You, the sand people. There's no sand person. Just, <laughs> remember that? Remember that noise they made? Scared me to death when he jumped up in that shot. <laughs> and then Obi-Wan comes in. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it since 1978. I remember um, having to get those toys and I was just like, oh, I was obsessed. Because I wanted to, you know, set it up like a whole... Um, stunt people will actually do a car stunts and they'll use Matchbox cars of to course. show exactly how they're gonna do it. I almost had that set. Like, <laughs> I just I wanna get this straight. You're not gonna use the matchbook cover, the matchbook cars and the, the actual- Matchbox car. Oh yeah, matchbox. matchbox. I was a Hot Wheels guy. I was a Hot Wheels guy. You're dead to me. There's lots of ways to crack on you. <laughs> Hot Wheels crack up cars. That's new from Hot Wheels. Uh, I think it was di uh, Hot Wheels because I couldn't afford Matchbox. No, they were the same. Fuck. You failed as well. Uh, no, uh, but I mean, I had, all that stuff, and it was cool because I actually, actually packed it away when I got I kind of outgrew that stuff. What and age? I uh, twenty seven. Uh, no, I, I don't really remember to be honest with you. Like okay. I, fifteen, sixteen, maybe I, fourteen. Okay. I have no idea. But when my my oldest, my firstborn Cooper was, I had my parents shipped it all out, oh. and they destroyed it. But I was like, okay. I mean, it was it wasn't like collector's edition, but. They played with the same toys I did. I had, which was kind of a cool moment. You I know, would love it. that. You know, uh, Cooper's got a bunch of Lego Star Wars stuff that he's he's done, and what we're uh, what we're, we're planning on doing is like, breaking them down, putting it away in in storage or something. So someday, his kids he can, can break that it. out. His kids can build the same thing he built. There's not really much tie that I have to, like my life back in Texas. There's not a lot that connects me. You you. Yeah, like if I wanted to, I <laughs> just like create a new life for myself. But I don't, like I'm thinking about all the things, that, the toys that I played with, the comic books that I had. I had Mark McGuire's rookie card. I had Ken Griffey Jr.'s I rookie card. I have Nolan Ryan's rookie card. Whoa. And a piece of glass. Houston Astros? Yeah. No, he played for- You're not gonna get this. <clears throat> I wanna say it's like Pittsburgh? No. Uh, Baltimore Orioles. Where was my brother born? My older brother. What is my favorite football team? Jets. Uh, Jets. You're a Jets fan. The Giants. 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 Sorry. Okay. You know I what? Was Let me so get close. to it. Let's get so, another. <laughs> my brother was uh, born in New York. New York Giants. I was a Giants fan. Um, I got that one. Edited Nolan one Ryan played for the New York Mets as a rookie in 1969, Mets. 1970, okay. before he left for the California Angels. Angels. And that's why I'm named Nolan. But he played for the Astros, and then he went to the Rangers. Yes, but it was Mets Come for rookie, and then he went to Angels. Uh, the Angels, and then to Houston, then to Texas. Okay. I got two out of four ain't bad. Yeah, it's not good. Not good, but it's, it's 50%, like- 50%, it's a it's fail. A fi it's a 500 average. It is, it, in, certain, in baseball, you're in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, so winning. Anyway, I- <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't say you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you just logic me right into I'm like, I don't want to Shit. agree with you, but I have to now. We just didn't have the money to afford like the big Lego sets or the big collector's edition. I, I, I could I afford my, the action figures. I couldn't afford the big like vehicles. My 10th birthday is when we, we moved to Rhode Island. Okay. And I remember vividly, you know, come on in, you got a, get a cake and, and walk in to, to, you know, sing happy birthday. And I looked to my right and the whole counter was package and I knew exactly which one that is the uh, snow uh, and the snow speeder mm. I remember getting that that was my favorite one because I love that the snow speeder had a really cool line to it yeah and, it, and the cool thing is like but you could press that button and the little things with the little with the it would threads shoot would shoot the air thing out and threads yeah it was cool it, I, it had just, I mean it was it was this was my this is my every day every day I was playing with that stuff <laughs> it was so cool to and, and then, uh, you know, my kids got older, you know, they played with that stuff. And then, you know, oh, hey, you want to get the new snow speeder? And it's awesome. I was like, this is the greatest. I mean, it's so much more detail and the features. It's like, oh, look at you, look at me. Oh, so cool. You, it's, you, you press the button, it's, you know, yeah. you do the, the type of, that yeah. it plays that sound. 
I geeked out with my kids had that stuff. I was like, this is so cool. There will never be another Luke Skywalker. There will never be another Han Solo. You and I definitely differ on um, The Last Jedi. How do we do? You did not like it. I, I, I just felt like it was a big uh, commercial for the next one. It's like, oh yeah, so here comes the next one when we're gonna pay this off. I liked it, don't get me wrong. I, I think for me, I heard everybody going, oh, it's this and it's blah, 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 blah. I just wanted, I wanted a Star Wars movie. I wanted, and I'm sitting there and, and we were in, we were in the TCL, the Mans. We were in the big, massive, iconic, the same place that they premiered the first one. Episode four, A New Hope was premiered there. And I'm sitting there in my theater and I've got my big 3D glasses on <laughs> and I got my tub of popcorn. And? And I'm sitting there and it's just, boom! And it's just that huge. Oh yeah, you mean that, you mean when they first hit the music? And, on you? and it all just washed over me. I just, I want to believe in, I, I want to believe in Star Wars again. And so all of it, from like the super, you know, Leia flying through space and everything, I was just like, yeah, sure, all of it. And I don't care what you say, I thought that was a badass moment with Luke Skywalker. I loved it. I thought it was great, but whatever. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Put your <laughs> seatbelts on, kids! <laughs> It's oh, eerily I, reminiscent I, I, I of the I'm Star Wars. I think I'm ass, but I feel like I'm, it's gonna tell me that I'm gonna lose. That one, you go. Just do that one right there, and then that one's good. I did something good. I just did a level. Give me some of that. Damn. It took me a little while, but I feel like Mark Hamill. And oh, more? Right back into it, yeah. Oh. So just must keep following the. the must protect the job, was. I kind of want to play. Should I blow that up? Why not? No. Uh, maybe not. A is, is oh, thrust. That's somebody's house. A is thrust. I'm trying to shoot TIE Fighters here. Oh, I'm really liking this. Because I right? like to fly, but I feel a little nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. We and I fly a lot, and we've been in some kind of... We've had weather. Uh, mission failed. We've been in some situations where... The time we came into London where the plane did, hey, it's like yeah. a seesaw. Like, yeah. he, oh. th he throws one of the worst airports to fly into ever. Um, <laughs> It can be. It's one of my favorite airports. It's one of my favorite airports, but I'm saying as far as, the, there are videos, multiple videos on YouTube where planes are coming in like, <laughs> like They're coming in sideways. Not, like, not, not the way you? that you should. Yeah, I sure hope these wheels on this plane It have, looks like, like a bad Photoshop. Yeah, <laughs> I want it to be like, like, <laughs> like, like the wheels on like the bottom, of, like caster wheels. That <laughs> spin. You're gonna have to not go straight. Here. A friend of mine, um, a good friend of mine, was getting his pilot's license, and he kept saying, "You should come up and fly with me. You should come up and fly." With me. He was doing like, um, he was testing out like a Cessna 172. It's like a little four seater, yeah. uncomfortable four seater, but you could sit four people in there. And I'm like, absolutely not, because I've been in a car with this guy. He was just deadly. And so one day, he's flying over the tollway in Dallas, and a bolt goes through the engine, seizes up the propeller, oh my gosh. and his instructor goes, give me the the, the stick, we're going down. Um, Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no bueno. And they're probably like four or 5,000 feet or whatever. No bueno. And he said, look for a field, otherwise we're landing this thing on the tollway in the middle of lunch hour traffic. And they find a field and they go down and it would have been a perfect emergency landing except for it had rained the day before and the field was like soggy raisin bran. And the nose gear caught uh, in the front of the plane and it flipped over, ass over tea kettle, and they're hanging upside down. And the only injury he sustained was because he went, I can't believe I made it out alive, and undid his seatbelt before the flight instructor could go, no, don't, and he goes, back, right into the windshield, just like Cartman did, like uh -oh. filing off the, the top of the house. After that, I was like, absolutely, I'll go up with you. Because, and I, I practice stalls with him. I've, I've been in the plane with him as the entire engine just dies. And you just kind of do that parabolic bubble or whatever it is. And he goes, put a penny on your knee. And the penny floated up, as did my stomach. Yeah, so, and I've, I've been in weather before where 
Have, you, have you ever, like... This is it. I've, I've, I've been in that place before where it's like, this may be it. I did once, and I, I weird. Good I morning, Wedge. Anything. The Red to Rogue Squadron like, is still back at base. But I just was like, it's going down. I just started looking around. You look at the captain going, you and me. I just looked at the person next to me, and I go, this is happening. The guy was like, please, no. Just like the gypsy like, woman uh, said. We, we've already landed. I'm like, <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know what's out there. Open the window, sir. No. <laughs> I need this. I remember flying back from Mexico uh, to LA. The pilot comes over and he goes, flight attendants, take your seats now. I opened up the window and I looked and there was just this green wall and we were flying straight into it. It was nuts. I've never seen, it was like a 737 that was doing like this, like in the air. It was, and we were dropping and it was, it was crazy, but you know, we made it. So the beauty of this is yeah. that, like all good games, we have. You know what we have. Cheat codes. Well, they call them pass codes. Yeah, but we all know what they are. Because we get to say, cheat codes in game. And you get to fly the Millennium Falcon if you'd like, my friend. Oh, wait, I just, I, okay, let me see. I want to put in Millennium Falcon, which. The password for this is. Yeah. Farm boy. Farm boy. Fetch me that picture. Farm boy, punish my horse the saddle. As you wish. Okay, so we're going to do the blockade on Chindrilla, right? You have the X Wing, or the A Wing, or the Speeder, or, or the Millennium Falcon! What the hell's a Millennium Falcon? Millennium Falcon! What was that that he said in Family Guy? What the, head is, what the hell is a Aluminum <laughs> Falcon? Oh. <laughs> A I robot chicken. This. What do you mean they blew up the Death Star? What the hell is an aluminum falcon? I want you. You want to play this one? Yeah, man. Okay. Well, you're doing so good. Here's the wanna... cool thing about the Millennium Falcon. So, it was the prize possession for my son to get the Lego Millennium Falcon, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, you can make it, and then it's like, yeah, okay, it's great. There it is. Okay. And then you set it up and you go, I built that motherfucker. But you know what we're gonna do? Yeah, they got the little area where they play Imperial video games and everything. I'm gonna make, have a coffee table builders. made you with like glass and it's gonna grain. set inside it. That's you know, but I thought, I think I'm gonna put like lights inside it so it looks like that. So at night, like a blue LEDs. Gonna be bitching, dude. <laughs> and by the way, I'm more excited about it than they are. They're also probably like, can you just put a, open up a beer on the side? Oh. <gasps> Oh, you're upside down. Now I'm going to puke. All right, roll. That's how I roll, bro. That's how I roll. Come on. Come on. Not the sky, not the clouds. The bad guys are on the ground, Troy. There they are. I know. Go get them. Go get them. Yeah, that almost seems like you're just going too fast. The Millennium Falcon is just too fast it's for too you. Too fast. But it's I'm like, also breaking. You're a 16 year old with a turbo. What are you doing? Are you supposed to shoot the train? There's a train. No, I'm supposed to protect the train, I believe. I see you, I see you. It's cool. It's cool. I don't know who to shoot. She's like, she's got a kind of fat ass. Those are x wings that don't want to hit those guys. Ooh. Those are our boys. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at it. Oh. Can I thread the Close needle? Can I thread the needle? Can I thread the needle? No. Third time. Give me that. How can you do that to the Falcon? Uh, I want to see if I can thread the needle. I was, I was inverted. We, we, we were inverted. Greetings. <laughs> Watch the birdie. There we are, nothing but Star Wars. If they should bar wars, let these Star Wars Get that stay. Out of that. oh, that's the train. Do I protect the train? You want to protect the train. Only the things in red on your mini-map is what you want to well, I can't see where they is at. They're all behind you. All right, let's, let's, let's. See, you're doing what I'm doing, and then you uh, flip. And then you, no, you can't do a full roll. Well, if I can, I Oof. Hi there. Hi there. You know what? Oh, okay. All right, there he is. There he's at. Now, my God. You can also, if you choose, you can do a 19. Oh, fly by. You can Whoa. do a 1969 Buick Electra. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that too. We have cluster missiles out of the Buick. 
no, 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 please, by all means, yes. I'm enjoying this far too much. Why not? Why not? This is very clever. Don't press start. That's the red button. There's a red button. Well, I just want to. Yes! Oh, you know what's funny? I have to. It won't let me go. Dog and bird. Takes his hat to the battle of your mother. The fight for your mother continues. Even without the thousands of Jedi mothers who formed the backbone of the old Republic, the Mother Alliance has managed to control three quarters of your mother. Darth Mother is dead, but a reborn empire under a mysterious new mother strikes back at the struggling Mother Alliance, hoping to crush the fledgling new mother. Massive world mothers, more powerful and unstoppable than the dead mother, ravage entire mothers. Rogue Mother, which is now commanded by Mother Antilles, persists in mounting during mounting, during bearing missions throughout the Mother. She's a very beautiful one. Beautiful, beautiful. Like a rose. It smells not like a rose. It's still delicious. Sometimes I like to put olive oil <laughs> under my pits. Holy shit, they're not letting me play, it's just letting... It's a cutscene, brother. I know, but you can get through the cutscenes. Are you saying you want to press A to skip? Never skip a cutscene of the game I'm in. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh, I love oh it. <laughs> it's like Flight of the Valkyries that and you're is, in a Buick. I'm in a Buick. <laughs> this is it. And it's fast. The Buick, you can, look at it. You know what I once had? I had a I had a Buick. It was a '75. It was beautiful brown interior. Oh my God! You know, a lot of people like me. I always appreciate the little They shot my Buick. The son of a bitch a body work on that. I got a guy. I know a guy. Take care of it. I'm gonna tell you. I don't. I don't know. If, I'm just gonna keep shooting this. I, I don't know. Really know what I'm shooting at. Um, that guy? anything red. But he's not, I can't see red. In a so you know, he, he never could, he could never see red. When I opened the up the you door, never could I see. saw red. When I saw red. You could never really see over the top of, a, of the dash. In one of these. Man, I love that band so much. Yeah. Warren? She's my cherry pie. Yeah, they were no Nelson. My hairstylist dated. Uh, right, look at that. I took it out. I just I sacrificed myself in the pure. No, it's still going. This is before airbags. She's my cherry pie. She got a nice flock of money. That make me want to cry. She's my cherry pie. I'm gonna tell you something. Um, the Buick disappointed me. I went down in a fiery death, and that's probably why they didn't have Buicks in Star Wars. That's my theory. So I want to go back to my X-wing fighter, uh, and uh, and the desert. You know, if that's okay. You can go back to Mos Eisley and see what you can. Pew pew. Yeah. Nani nani nani. There's not even an an iota of of cognition that's happening right now because it's just I'm total 100 percent just flying through the dunes. Of Mos I, just, I think I just shot somebody on a horse. I have a feeling we're going to be playing this for quite a while. So, I'm going to let Nolan be obsessed. Hold on, I, I really like Star Wars and all things Star Wars, and I just got a couple more things to. Uh, I'm trying to get one more. One more time through the glory beyond. Yeah, go on down. Go over this dude. That shoot filler or two. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> what was your favorite Star Wars movie? <laughs> what was yours? Empire, of course. Yeah, but I love that you're circling back to the question that I asked you 20 minutes ago. Oh, I know about it. I just didn't answer, <laughs> ask you, but I thought that was rude. Oh. Um, okay. Very, very kind. Uh, so, okay. Hey, everybody. What's going to happen? I'm Nolan North. Welcome to Retro Replay. Show's Ooh. over. Because I am absolutely uh, mesmerized. Dialed by flying okay. games. We, we won't you. be doing this again because I I really like these games. This is where we just, oh, this is, come on. Who wants some of that? You keep Eat playing. some of that shit. Eat you keep playing, shit. and we'll ask you, what do we play next? We don't even play this next, is what we play. <laughs> oh, eat it, bitch.